Simply learn. Your pace, your place. Hello once again, and welcome to the fourth part of CESA course by Simply Learn. In the previous sections, we looked at the process of conducting an information systems audit, including all the guiding standards, guidelines, tools and techniques, and code of ethics. We then moved on to Domain 2 of the CESA course in which we gained an understanding of the intricacies surrounding governance and management of IT. This was followed by Domain 3, in which we exhaustively tackled matters relating to information systems, acquisition, development and implementation. We now move on to Domain 4 of the CESA course, which is Information Systems Operations Maintenance and Support. This domain makes up 23% of the final CESA exam, meaning you can expect to find approximately 46 questions from this area in the final CESA exam. We start off by going through the agenda of what we expect to cover in Domain 4. Agenda. As indicated in the slides, we will start off with an overview of Domain 4 after which we will get to understand the Domain 4 objective. This will take us to the task and knowledge statements, which highlight key aspects to be covered in Domain 4. This will be followed by a look at a list of additional study resources that are quite expansive in covering the content of Domain 4. This will culminate to the actual content of Domain 4. The content has been broken down according to the Isaka Knowledge Statements for easy referencing and review of the key concepts in Domain 4. We will now start off by covering service level management practices related to IT. We will then get to understand the techniques for monitoring third party compliance, which has become quite rampant in many organizations. Next, we will discuss the procedures for managing scheduled and non scheduled processes. It is crucial that we understand the available control techniques that ensure the integrity of system interfaces. The next topic will focus our attention to software licensing and inventory practice. This will be followed by a description of available system resiliency tools and techniques, a key concept affecting almost any IT operation is database 